This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're taking a look at the Chums Ducky Wallet, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. If you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe so we can continue making content like this to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. So to kick things off, I'm gonna take out the cards I have stowed in here right now, just so you can get a better look at the colorway action we've got going on here. So very vibrant, very colorful, and there are a, different, a few different colors that are available on their set website. And the reason these are all so unique and colorful is because they're actually made from discarded raft scrap material. So like different like blow up rafts and different boats and stuff like that use this material. They take the scraps and they manufacture these in Hurricane, uh, Hurricane Utah, which sounds like a weird hurricane name, but it is just a place in Utah, which is in the United States, if you did not know. So nice to see that these are made in America. We don't see that a ton, but this material is very durable. It kind of feels like if you ever had like a cheap soccer ball or a cheap football, and that's not to say that this is a cheap material. It's just, it's like very hard. If you ever had like a, you know, a cheap sports ball, a lot of times they're made from this on the outside. So if you had like, if you were playing with someone older than you as a kid and they chucked it at you, it like hurts your hands because it's durable and rough. That's kind of what this material reminds me of. It's got, I'm not sure how well you can see that texture, but it's kind of like fun to just like rub your hand on too. So if you like fidgeting with things, it is, is good for that. This thing is very small, as you can see in the palm of my hand. It's really not much bigger than, you can see there's a gift card here, not much bigger than, you know, just a, a standard card. And if you have, you know, a stack of, this is, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five cards here. It's, you know, very, very thin as well. So about, it doesn't look the same as a lot of minimalist wallets that you like often see marketed, but it is probably one of the most minimalist wallets that I have seen just because of that, it's tiny and it just doesn't get in your way. So you've got a little slot here for cards, little slot here for cards, and you've got another one on the back. So this one here has a little bit of like a lip, which offers a little bit of extra protection. So if you wanted to slide your ID in there, it's a good place to put that because it's not gonna fall out. I haven't had any issues with cards falling out of any area on this wallet so far, but that one does have the lip, so it's a little bit better protected. So my happy number for this, for this wallet is seven cards, and that is about as, as much as I can put inside of it and still feel comfortable without stretching out the materials. This is just five cards here and I feel very, very comfortable with five because I can still throw some cash in there if I want to. So typically I would go, you know, maybe two here, two here, so that's four, and then two or three on this side, so that's either five or six. There isn't a dedicated cash spot in this wallet, but any of these slots could be used for cash if you wanted them to. So let's say we have these two on the back here where you'd put your ID. And we'll throw these three in the back one, which is gonna be a little bit of a tight fit. Three in any of the pockets is a bit tight, but it does work. And then you could throw your cash in this pocket so that way it's the closest to you. So if you're, you know, whenever you need to use cash, it's ready to be used. I also, when I was testing this wallet, often left this one empty. And then if I was waiting in line and I knew which card I needed, or if I knew that I'd need my ID, I'd just leave that one there so it's quick to access. And then once I get what I need, I put that one back where it goes. But again, even with cards in this thing, it's very, just very, very minimalistic. And this material is very durable. Like you can hardly tell that it's not brand new still. I do worry about the stitching a little bit, but even that, it has held up very well. No loose threads or anything like that. Just a very neat wallet and it fits inside pretty much anywhere you could want to fit it, which we're about to speak about. So when it comes to packability, as you can see, this thing is just tiny, like it'll fit in your front pocket, your back pocket, really wherever you wanna fit it. If you have a normal sized pocket, even like in, in women's pants or feminine pants, you'll be able to most likely fit this inside the pocket. And I brought out, this is just my regular wallet that I normally use, another Trums wallet, um, the Surf Shorts wallet, I believe. And it's just, this is a small wallet, but just the thickness. And I'm not really comparing it to this wallet because they're different beasts entirely. Just the thickness is crazy different. You can like anywhere that you can fit even like a piece of paper, or maybe that's a kind of uh, pushing a little bit or like a thick piece of cardstock, you can fit this wallet, whether that be in your pocket or if you have like a liner pocket on your backpack or just like even the ID slot in your bag. Like if it's a big enough ID slot, like, if, like the clear slot to see, you might be able to fit this inside of there. It's just a really, really small footprint. You can't fit everything you might normally fit in your wallet, but this thing will fit everywhere, which is worth commending, I think. So for a true comparison's sake, I grabbed the Packed Mojito wallet, which I tested a few weeks ago. You can find the full review on Pack Hacker now. 
but I think these, even though they look very different, are very similar wallets. They're obviously similar in footprint. This one's a little bit shorter, obviously, but then you put the card in and it extends out a bit. And this one has three places to stow things, and this one has two, obviously the main area here, and then this little spot here. So on the packed, obviously this is where your cards go, and then your cash goes here. You could also throw a key in there or something, and that's kind of just how things work. Whereas on this one, you can kind of get a little bit more I guess not almost like customizable, but you can put things where you want with the three different spots. You could put cash in any of these, you could put cards in any of these, you have a little bit more freedom. But then obviously this one's much louder. The colorway is obviously, you know, colorful and saturated, whereas this is much more muted. It's a, a PU material, so a PU leather. It just looks a little bit more like what you'd see in an office or something like that, and just a little bit more understated, which just depends on what you're into. But they both fit about the same amount of cards, so this one will fit about six cards inside the main compartment there, and then you have this little area for cash. You're looking at about seven cards inside here, or you could remove a card or two and put cash, or you could put a key inside one of these as well. So very similar wallets, but it just really comes down to what you're looking for your wallet to look like, if that makes sense. And one last thing to mention about the Ducky wallet at the time of recording this, it's about 15 bucks. So you really can't go wrong with this budget friendly option. So there you have it, the Chums Ducky wallet. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.